The pages of the Bible are bursting with God's promises to his children. I will never leave you nor forsake you. All things work together for good for those who love God. I will love you with an everlasting love. Of course, the promise is only as trustworthy as the character of the promise maker. We know God's promises are secure because we know he is trustworthy. When our faith falters, when we doubt his promises, we miss out on the peace, joy, and abundant life God wants for us. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 1.20, no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. When we question God's promises, when we wonder whether God will be faithful, Christ is God's resounding yes. He is the promise fulfilled and reaffirmed that God is with us and for us forever, even in the hardest times. What do you make of your suffering? Can you believe in the promises of God even then? If God calls you to be less significant in the eyes of the world, can you believe that God has not forsaken you, that he loves you, that he has a plan to prosper you? Can you embrace the declining life, trusting that a demotion in the kingdom of the world might be a promotion in the kingdom of God? The seed of God's promise is set within you. The Holy Spirit will nurture that seed and help it bear fruit. No matter how many no's life throws your way, Christ in you is God's yes. The assurance that even in the darkest, coldest places, God's grace remains. And as Paul writes, we are the amen to that yes. We can pass it on to others. We can become not only promise takers from God, but promise makers to others, extending light into the dark places in other people's lives. So, where are the places of loss in your life today? And what does it look like to steward those losses well? How can you walk in belief of God's promises in the midst of your hardship and then help others do the same? And how would your life be different if you believed every moment in those promises, even during seasons of loss?